This is Jared Horak, and in this handicapping video, I'm going to analyze the Grade 3 ACAC stakes at Churchill Downs, Saturday, September 30th, 2023. If you're interested in my full card analysis at Santa Anita Park, you can head on over to therunawayhorse.com on my sales page. The Santa Anita Park Autumn Meet I will be covering each day, September 29th through November 5th, including both Breeders' Cup days, November 3rd and 4th. And you can purchase individual full cards, weekly and weekend packages, the entire meet, and the Breeders' Cup as well. So head on over to the runawayhorse.com on my sales page for more details. And you can also purchase my analysis at todaysracingdigest.com. And speaking of the Digest, if you head on over to their website, uh, you can read my handicapping articles. I post a lot of articles over there uh, in their news section. So go over to todaysracingdigest.com to read those handicapping articles. And now we're going to get into the analysis of this ACAC stakes. And it is a Breeders' Cup win and you're in for the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. And this will be the ninth race at Churchill Downs for September 30th. Grade 3, $400,000 ACAC stakes for three-year-olds and up. And they're going to be traveling one mile around one turn on the main track. And the scheduled post time is 4.58 p.m. Eastern Time. And breaking from the inside post is Seize the Night. This horse exits a show finish in the Cowboy Jones Stakes at one mile at Ellis Park on August 13th. Overall record, a 4 for 11 with two third place finishes and has won at Churchill Downs before. Likes to rally off the pace, uh, like, like in that uh, Cowboy Jones Stakes after the half mile mark. This one was seventh and last and was able to rally to finish an okay third that day. And now from the inside post, we'll probably save ground from off the pace under John Court. Number two, oh, Bezos. Well, this one is a son of Orb. He's only run 13 times, four wins, two seconds, and two thirds. Some may remember this one from the 2021 Kentucky Derby Trail. He was fourth in the Risen Star Stakes that year, third in the Louisiana Derby. He was fifth of 19 in the Kentucky Derby. And then he was second in the Matt Wynn Stakes. Um, and that was a, a decent effort that day. That was May of 2021 at Churchill Downs in that grade three race. Uh, then after that, he won an optional claiming race at Fairgrounds, January 2022. And they tried him in some stakes races. The mine shaft, he was fourth. They turned him back in the grade three Commonwealth stakes at Keeneland in the slop, and he rallied to finish third at seven furlongs. He won an optional claiming race at six furlongs last fall at Churchill Downs. And then they ran him in the Breeders' Cup sprint, and he rallied from um, 11th in an 11-horse field to finish fifth that day. 39 to 1 odds. He was only beaten three and a half lanes. Not a bad effort. And then his first start, um, he went from November of 2022 to July of 2023, his first and only start so far this year. It was a stakes race at Ellis Park, $125,000 race, six and a half furlongs, and he stalked the pace and he was second by a neck. So now his second start of the year, he's going to stretch out in distance. He has won at Churchill Downs before, I mentioned last fall at, at six furlongs, and now second start of the year will um, reconnect with his winning rider, Tyler Gaffleone, who was aboard for that Churchill win last fall and look for him to try to rally from a bit off the pace. Three technique is sharp right now. This is a, a six-year-old Mr. Speaker horse. He's six for 31 with six seconds and seven thirds. He does like Churchill, eight starts, two wins, two seconds, two thirds. He's run 11 times at this distance with two wins, three seconds, and four third place finishes. So nine of 11, he's finished in the money uh, at this one mile distance and he's sharp as well and he's fresh. Grade two, uh, Nerud Stakes at seven furlongs on July 1st. He won that one from off the pace. And prior to that, he won an optional claiming race under uh, Saturday's rider, Rafael Bejarano, in a one mile uh, Churchill Downs race on uh, May 27th. So he's one that he's sharp. He can rally from off the pace, fairly consistent. We know he likes the course and distance. And reconnecting with his winning rider, there's some things to like here. Stage Raider. Uh, this one, he's only run 10 times. He's a five-year-old with four wins and three seconds. And he won last time out. He won that Cowboy Jones Stakes that I mentioned uh, with the inside horse sees the night of finishing third there. Stage Raider upset that race at 19 to one odds, stalking the pace. So now can he run two alike? He was in the Chad Brown barn. Prior to that, Cherie DeVoe took over as his trainer last time. And he struck right away for his new trainer with a good effort. And he's won a couple times at this one mile distance. He's got some stalking speed. And I wouldn't be surprised if he was competitive under Brian Hernandez Jr. Zozos is next for trainer Brad Cox. This is a son of Munnings. And he's six for 10 lifetime with a runner-up finish. 
It's one for two at Churchill, and he's two for two at this one mile distance. This might be his distance. He won three in a row earlier this year. A March, um, he won a one mile 70 yard race rallying from off the pace at fairgrounds. The second and third place finishers were next out winners, and Zozos was the next out winner in the Nick's Go Stakes, a restricted race at this course and distance on May 6th. And he controlled the pace there and was able to hold on and win by three quarters of a length. So he did get the lead. He had the lead. He lost the lead, but then he took it back and he was able to grind out that win by three quarters of a length. The Hanshin Stakes at Ellis Park in the slop in July, he won that one going wire to wire. And then last time he disappointed. He was the one to two favorite in the Island Stakes, a grade three at Monmouth at a mile and a 16th. And he set the pace, but he could not keep on going. He weakened to finish fourth in that five horse field. So he was really hammered in the wagering. He had the lead, no excuses there. So now he's going to cut back to one turn. Like I said, maybe this is his best distance. Florent Giroux is going to string along here. And I would not be surprised if he was able to get out there and control the pace. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he wired the field. Skyro is next. Brian Lynch is the trainer. This is a son of Verrazano, and he's four for 14 with three seconds and two thirds. He's two for three at Churchill and one for one at this distance. Uh, that victory at Churchill at this distance was July of 2022. He stalked the pace and he kicked away. That was an optional claiming race. After that, he was up the track in the Tappet Stakes, a restricted turf race at Kentucky Downs. And then he did win an optional claiming race December of 2022 on all-weather ground at Gulfstream Park. And then he was second in his next start, January of 2023. Uh, again, all-weather ground. Wolfie's Dyna Ghost, a decent sort, won that one. And Skyro was clearly second best. So this is his first start. Uh, in more than eight months. So can he overcome this kind of layoff here? Uh, we know he likes the track. He can handle the distance. He's got some tactical speed. How fit is he going to be in his first start in eight months? Caddo River is next for trainer D. Wayne Lucas. This is a son of hard spun. Six for 20 lifetime with six runner-up finishes and then a show finish as well. Spanked more than 800,000 in his career. And he's two for four at Churchill. And he likes this distance. Seven starts, three wins, two seconds, and a third. The big question is his current form. He was a fairly consistent sort uh, prior to his last two starts in the Knicks Go Stakes, 10th beaten 24 lengths. They tried him on turf last time, 10th beaten 21 lengths. That was his first turf start. Could have been an experiment. I'm not going to hold that one against him, but he uh, that Knicks Go wasn't a very good effort. But go back to the grade three Oaklawn Mile, April 1st at Oaklawn. Stalked, led, he finished second. He's run some decent races uh, in the past in the optional claiming ranks at Churchill at Oaklawn Park. He's got some tactical speed. He's got the outside post. He blew out a three furlong bullet for this on September 24th. So I would not be surprised if Caddo River was able to rebound and run a better race, but he's certainly going to have to find that sharp form to compete with this group. So Caddo River needs to rediscover sharp form. Sky Row, as I mentioned, uh, how will he uh, fare in his first start in eight months? Zozos looks like the one to catch. Stage Raider is one that uh, can compete with these on his best day, especially if he runs back to his Cowboy Jones victory. Three Technique is sharp and fresh. He's consistent. Uh, you have Obesos. He's one that uh, exits a neck, vic uh, neck defeat and a decent effort. And then down on the inside sees the night coming off that uh, third place finish in the Cowboy Jones. Competitive race here can go a number of ways. It depends on the pace. I think there is a chance in here. Uh, that Zozos gets out there and controls the pace. That's certainly a possibility, but I don't know how much value he's going to offer. I do like three technique to finish somewhere in there, but I'm going to go with the two Obesos as my top choice. I just could see him improving in his second start of the year. He's won at Churchill before, and I think the longer distance could suit him. He was able to handle two turns uh, earlier on in his career, and now in his last four starts, they've run him around one turn. Now, this is a one-turn race, a one-turn mile, and I think that six furlongs is probably a little short for him, even though he did win an optional claiming race at, the, at, this, at that distance at Churchill last fall. But I think a one-turn mile could be in his wheelhouse. He's one that's won at a mile and a 16th and six furlongs, so I think that in-between distance, and if he can uh, work out a decent trip, not getting too far behind, kind of like he did last time, uh, the pace was a little slow, and he was up on that uh, pace. He was only a length and uh, length and three quarters, length and a half back last time. I think he's going to be further back here, but if he can stay within hailing distance, maybe he can catch Zozos in the stretch and win this race. 
So I'll make O Bezos my top choice in the grade three ACAC at Churchill Downs for Saturday, September 30th. And the next video I'm going to do at Churchill, I'm going to do the, the grade two uh, Lucas Classic. That's also on September 30th, and that's race 10. But this ACAC is race nine. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you like this horse racing content. And I'm going to be back, and I'm going to be doing the Lucas Classic for my next video. And until I see you next time, good luck at the races. Mm -hmm.